Okay, today I'm going to use number value bonds to multiply. I'm going to try to remember from when I learned about place value. And when I learned about place value, I looked at each digit in every number for which place it was in and how much it was worth, the value. So for example, the number 23, if I had to say the place and the value of each one of these numbers, I would look at the first digit or the the back end digit, which is 3, and say, what is that place? Okay, that place is 1's. What makes, I mean, how much is the value of it? 3. 3 1's give me 3. 3 1's give me 3. All right, now then when I look at the 2, which is in the 10's place, the 2 has a different value because it's not 1 for 1. We used to, call, used to use these 10 rods to identify how much its value was worth. Two tens would give me 20. So to figure out the actual value of this number, I looked at the value of each digit in each place. So 20 plus 3 would give me 23. This is the method that I want to use when I multiply. So for example, if I have the number 23 times 4, Instead of using repeated addition to figure out what 23 times 4 is, I can break 23 into its value or number bonds to get my actual product in this multiplication. First I'll break it into number bonds and then I'll multiply each uh, value by 4. So as I did before a second ago, 20 plus 3 was the value bond for 23. So here I want to take the 4 on over and I want to multiply the 4 to each value. So here I have 4 times 3, a basic fact for us to easy remem easily remember. And then because I know how to multiply by powers of 10, I can say 4 times 2 will give me 8 and then I just tag this 0 on the end. So now I have 80 plus 12, which was the value of 4 times th the value of 3, the value of 4 times the value of 20. So 80 plus 12. 80 plus 12 is 92. Okay, so now let's look at a different, a larger number. I have 153. Okay, so when I want to recall place and value in this number, first off, I look at the 3, which is in the 1's place. The value of 3 here is 3. When I look at 5, it's in the 10's place. The value of 5 here is 50 look at 1, which is in the hundreds place, the value of 1 here is 100. So if I add 100 plus 50 plus 3, I would get 153. Here is 153 broken into each value by place. Now if I want to multiply a large number like 153 times, say, 7, it's easy for us to recall our basic facts, but multiplying these larger numbers becomes a little bit more difficult. I can make it easier for myself by breaking these numbers into those value bonds. So let's go back and break 153 into its value bond. If you look over here, the value bond was 100 plus 50 plus 3. So I'm going to just rewrite that. 100 plus 50 plus 3. Okay, so now I want to multiply 153 times 7, so I'm going to multiply its value bond times 7. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at 7 times 3, a basic fact, which is 21. Then I'm going to remember how to multiply by the powers of 10. So I'm going to multiply 7 times 5 first, which is 35. Then I'm going to add that 0 on the end. Then I'm going to multiply 7 times 1, which is 7, and then I have two zeros here to add on the end. 
So when I multiply 7 times this value bond, I come up with 700 plus 350 plus 21. So I can add these three numbers to get my final product for here. So if I multiply 700 plus 350 plus 21, I get 1,071. So 153 multiplied by 7 is 1,071.